Well, I just finished a major accomplishment. Got the exhaust 100% um, done. It doesn't mean it's in permanent. It's not uh, glued and everything permanent, but it is done. So I wanted to show and talk a little bit through about how this all went. I alluded to it a little bit um, yesterday, I think it was. I feel like I'm working on this thing nonstop. So here's what we got. The, uh, the crossover tube, the exhaust, and it, I was kind of thinking about this. If this thing comes up at an angle like so, and so that's going to make the, the, the water box kind of sit at an angle as well. However, there's a cushion in there. So I don't think I, my, my only concern is that this water box is sitting at a little bit of an angle. And I don't know if water is going to um, end up uh, pooling at that end. Anyway, so th with this thing being sideways like this there, there really was and also the the um the swim deck making a or swim step making a cavity in there i couldn't just go out here because it's going to go into the swim step so i had to go in the middle section to make that happen so i routed it over over top um you reuse some of the rubber pieces off of the ski had one of my couplings and then thank god i've uh, i I'm kind of a hoarder, if you will, with all my spare materials. I don't throw away anything because you can always make a part out of it. And I'm glad I did because I just had enough tubing to um, to make the exhaust. So here's the other side. I'm pretty ha uh, pretty happy, honestly, the way it turned out. It kind of looks like a stovepipe a little bit. Um, but I just welded a an eighth inch flange and I threaded it um, quarter 20 threads so I could come in this thing's gonna all get uh, sealed up, and then I can put a, a small nut on the back sides of those. So this all worked out good. Really quick about the um, pie cutting uh, to make an angle. Ideally, those probably would, should have been just, uh, you know, um, formed 90s, but I don't wanna sit around and wait a week for it to get in or, or whatever, so I just pie cut them and made them myself. Um, it took all day to get it done, but um, so a little, little lesson on pie cuts so i actually youtube searched this a few years ago uh, on a project on one of my race boats and so when you think about it uh it was and it was a little bit surprising so the way you do it you take okay i want to come out of i want to come out of the transom 90 degrees and say let's just say for example this one has three pies in that so I'm going to divide 90 by 3 or 30 degrees. Okay, so you think, okay, I got to make a 30 degree curve, to, you know, chink to, to make that happen. However, your cut is only 15 degrees because you have two, two pieces of the pie. You've got a 15 degree angle there and a 15 degree on that piece. And together they make a 30 degree uh, bend in that. Um, so here's how I did it on with the with the tools that I have. I just use my trusty old uh, grizzly um, bandsaw, and I literally just set this thing to to a uh, a 15 degree. Where's where do we got here? I can't even see 90. So set it to 15 degrees. You can see that angle, and then I just pushed the the pipe right through it. And uh, and made a bunch of see, these ones are all square, but um, let me show you with a piece of and here's here's one. So here is the piece of pipe, 15 degree bevel on there, and I just ran that thing right right through the bandsaw. Now what the beauty of it is is when you flip it over, and you can cut it back the other way. And you'll and there you got your two 15 degree and 15 degree uh, cuts and there's your your 30 degree pie. So that's how I did it. It wasn't perfect. Um, ideally, you kind of want to use one of those horizontal band saws and set that thing exactly at your angle. Um, and it probably honestly would have been better to do you know five or six pieces around that would have made a little bit smoother turn but this isn't uh, this isn't an, an air intake this is the exhaust so i'm not too worried about it it's a big pipe anyway 
and the exhaust makes so many turns and twists and stuff in this whole system, I'm not too worried about um, only doing three pieces of pie to make that happen. Anyway, pretty happy with the way that turned out. Keep this video short. It's Sunday night. I didn't even uh, realize that I had to run in town and didn't realize that uh, my Ace, my world famous Arlington hardware, it was closed today. So I had to go to Lowe's. Ew. Anyway, uh, I'm going to sign off. Keep this video short. Uh, let me know what you think about the exhaust. I'm pretty happy with it. Oh, one other thing is that what this thing is, that hole right there, that is for the steering. So I had to make sure that the, the main things going out, the steering um, wasn't going to um, conflict with the exhaust. So the steering goes out the side. The reverse is going to go right out through the top. And there I got my main water pickup. So I put all those in or at least knew where they were before I even started doing any of that stuff. So I knew that I could deconflict with the exhaust. So everything is in and I, it's going to go pretty quick from here. That was a pretty big job and everything else is now is just drilling holes, maybe a couple brackets for the electronics and uh, man, pretty happy with the progress today. Thanks for watching. Hit that subscribe button. And I now have a new one. Do me a favor and share this video or the videos that if you're following along, copy the link, paste it into your social media site, and let's see if we can get the views up a little bit that way. All right, thanks for watching.